Disney years at Costco. Are these a deal or will you regret buying them? I'm Ashley. And I'm Lauren. And we are Once Upon a Wardrobe. We are actually an outfit planning service for magical vacations. And we spend a lot of time uh, vetting products for our clients. If you enjoy any Disney or Universal outfit ideas, room tours, or just any Disney thing in general, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. Have you had good luck buying Disney years from Costco or Sam's? Let us know in the comments. We were fortunate enough, my dear sweet friend, Sally, this is not a sponsored post, uh, sent us two boxes of these ears because she saw them in Costco, thought my kids would really enjoy them. So she sent them to us. And this was the first time um, we had ever seen uh, the quality of these ears. Sally sent us two boxes. There was a princess box, princess themed box, and there was a Disney villain box. We'll kind of show you the unboxing because I don't know, maybe we already shot this video and we did a whole unboxing, but I did a terrible job on the video. So you, we just can't show it to you, but we'll show you parts of it uh, to show you how we did unbox it. But they, they come in a package of five and they are, well, Sally got these last August for $25. So one box, $25, five pair of ears. So these are not always in the Costco stores. And we say Costco or Sam's, we live in the Midwest. We have both Costco and Sam's here, which they are, I shouldn't say one and the same because they're not, but big bulk stores, big bulk items. So they don't always have these in stock. Lauren's uh, mother-in-law picked up a pair from Sam's yep. and it was in the winter season yep. and they were uh, all Mickey. Yeah. Mickey and Minnie themed. And so, and then Sally got these for us last summer. So I would say they come out about twice a year mm -hmm. that you could, that you might see them in your stores. So we wanted to, since that it's coming up soon, we wanted to kind of show you the quality show you whether it would be a good purchase or not. First, we are gonna talk about the pros of these ears. So, I mean, first off, the obvious, you're getting ears for $5 a pair. So, I mean, you really can't beat that price point. Also, I will say these are a better quality overall than I would have expected, especially at that price point. I would agree. We have, we have purchased Amazon ears before, which I was expecting them to be around the same quality. Um. <laughs> okay, well, it is what it is. Yeah. And these are much bigger than the Amazon ears that we have bought, my family has bought. And those ears, like one pair, typically run about $10. Mm -hmm. So I would say the price point is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, the size thing is huge because typically the ones that you get on Amazon would be better suited toward children because they are smaller. And these honestly are like pretty close to the size of ears that you would get in the parks. Mm -hmm. I would agree. The Amazon ones we usually recommend for kids. So these are kid friendly. Mm -hmm. My kiddo has, I think she's worn it. I say that. I think she's worn it. i sure I remember her wearing those. Yeah. Maybe. She would also wear them to a Disney day at school. So she is seven and they were comfortable enough for her. Um, and they are very comfortable for me. And I have a pretty sensitive head. I typically don't wear ears in the park. They're extremely lightweight. I mean, honestly, and the headband is very comfortable. The price is good. The They're comfortable. Um, and they fit both kids and adults pretty well. Mm -hmm. And it's a great variety of what comes in the pack, too. I mean, we had... Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, Princesses was what snow, Rapunzel, Jasmine, Belle, Ariel. These come out anytime soon. You're, it's probably going to be a different uh, theme. It may or may not. We don't know because it's very random with the drop that they do. Yeah, for the villains pack, okay, you've got Maleficent, Eva Queen, Corella, Ursula, uh, and Queen of Hearts. I love that the ears are all like. For the villains, you've got sequence, and then you've got a bow, and then you've got a little icon in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I think those are the same, right? Yeah, yeah. And and I mean, they're really cute designs too, to be honest. 
And it's a, it's a great option, especially if you're not somebody that goes to the parks often. If this is like kind of like a one-off or a once in a while trip and you don't want to spend a ton of money, but you want to be able to theme, I, I think it's a great way to go. I would totally agree with you. Now we're going to talk about the cons of possibly purchasing these gears. The cons. Well, these are a great deal um, and can definitely be for your trip. They can be for a birthday party. They can be for dress up. We do want to point out some cons of purchasing uh, Costco gears. One of the big issues is quality control. So again, you, you get what you pay for. Um, now, honestly, a lot of these are not terrible. They are pretty symmetrical. However, we get to, for instance, Rapunzel Bear. You can see this is not a round circular shape. This is much more like an octagon and uh, very blunt. So <clears throat> you will run into issues like that. My favorite part about these ears is that like this side is an octagon. Yes, this is fine. Right. This one is totally fine. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I've never had a pair. I mean, I've only bought a few pair of Amazon ears for my kids, and I've never had that issue. Yeah, I, I've never, never seen it quite like this before either. That exaggerated. Yeah. Well, and it's a little bit like that with some of the villain ears. It's not a perfect circle, which is totally fine. It's $5. Mm -hmm. um, but you could, you know, if Rapunzel is your favorite princess and you're really wanting to wear these, just keep that in mind. Now, the box um, that it comes in, you know, you can see what you're getting. So maybe just take a look-see, do some inspection <laughs> before you pick your box of ears if you're going to go with these. So quality control is definitely a con. Also is the case with one of the villain ears. Uh-huh. So in our initial video that we shot, we did the full unboxing and we cut them open and immediately as we were talking about them, discovered this what happens, Just kind of busted right through the seam. Just, so that is something else to consider um, is that they're cheap. They're cheaply made because they're $5. Right. Yeah. These are not supposed. These are not supposed to last you a lifetime. They do. That would be pretty, pretty it would, ridiculous. <laughs> it would be great. But these are really meant to last a maybe one trip or a birthday party or whatever your heart desires. They are not meant to last you multiple trips if you happen to go to Disney uh, over and over again. They are flimsy. I mean, that you need to note that too. Like, you just know that these are not going to be the sturdiest ears that you will ever own. Yes. That is the downside to them being comfortable because I think with that thinner band that you mm -hmm. have, the thinner the band, I think the more comfortable. Uh -huh. But yeah. And the fact this is basically just like foam. foam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. You, you, you know, you get one windy day. <laughs> right. <laughs> these are it's probably good stand. You definitely can't take these on rides. I know they tell you to take off your ears anyway on lots of rides, but there are a few rides that you can keep your ears. I would not trust these on any ride. Agreed. Maybe it's a small world. Yeah. <laughs> people mover. People mover. I don't know. I'm still <laughs> worried about true. people mover. Now we we agree that this is a good deal. We just wanted you to be aware of what the difference is and why we're talking about ears at Costco and whether or not you should get the box of $25 or who knows, it may be 30 by the time this video True. comes out. True. But if you, if you are looking for more consistent or quality control, we do recommend small shops. Mm -hmm. We are not affiliated with this shop. We just think that the quality is fantastic for what you're getting. They're super comfortable. These are, uh, the small shop is called Ears by Brico. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Lauren has purchased a couple. I love them. I always say I'm going to steal these in particular. It's one of the rare occasions where I've been able to wear a pair of ears all day. And we did that for the uh, 50th, 50th anniversary. Yep. anniversary. So we were there from the very beginning of the day until the very, very end. And I was fine the entire time. Mm -hmm. So you can find comfortable small shop ears. Let us know in the comments if you've ever purchased a box of Costco or Sam ears and if you think that they are worth it, uh, whether or not you agree with us. You can also let us know if there are any other products you would like us to review.
And if maybe you want us to update that old ear video <laughs> where we compared small shop, Amazon, and Disney Park gears, if you want to update, let us know that too. Need help with any outfit planning services for your upcoming vacations? Please check out our website. We are happy to help you plan in any way, shape, or form for your next magical vacation. Until then, remember, theme park fashion doesn't have to be complicated. It just needs to make you smile. Bye! Thank you.